From the iconic design to its legendary ruggedness, and now there's a high-tech powertrain in the mix. There's a lot interesting happening with the new JL Wrangler. Now we've already put this chassis through its paces on some of the toughest trails in America, so now it's time to pop the hood and check out five things you need to know about its 48-volt e-torque mild hybrid system. Now the heart of the Wrangler's e-torque system is a 48-volt AC induction electric motor that is connected to the rest of the powertrain via a belt. Now it's water-cooled and basically smooths out those fuel-saving stop-starts that you get during city driving. It can also supply a little bit of extra torque to the rest of the engine when you need it under certain conditions. Now the e-torque system basically replaces the traditional 12-volt alternator and sort of works alongside the 12-volt starter, though there is still a regular starter in here for those cold starts at the beginning of the day. Now the e-torque system is able to add 130 pound-feet of torque by itself, but because of the way that hybrid math works, total system output is stated at 295 pound-feet for the e-torque and the 2-liter turbocharged engine combined. That's still more torque than you'd get with the V6's 260 pound-feet, and total system power is stated at 270 horsepower, which is a tad less than the V6's 285, but I'll tell you, I'd rather have a torque advantage over a horsepower advantage especially when you're talking about a slow crawler like the Wrangler here. Still, it remains to be seen how that turbocharged mild hybrid system will respond to power adding modifications, something I know you Jeep gals and guys like to do. The eTorque Wrangler features two batteries, the main being a 430 watt hour lithium ion battery pack located under the car here somewhere. Now it's air cooled, drawing air from inside of the vehicle and exhausting outside, and there's sound insulation so you don't hear it humming away, and a little bit of skid plating so that you don't damage it off road. Now because there is no alternator, there is a DC to DC converter that charges a traditional 12 volt battery underneath the hood where it belongs, and that's going to run your accessory systems. Now thanks to the magic of small displacement turbocharging and the ability to use that smooth stop-start system more frequently in the city, the EPA's estimate for city MPGs for the Wrangler climbs to around 23 miles per gallon for the regular Wrangler and 22 miles per gallon for our larger Wrangler Unlimited that we're in now. That's four miles per gallon more than you'll get in the city with the V6, and the overall combined estimate for the hybrid climbs by one mile per gallon overall. Now the turbocharged engine and mild hybrid system add around a thousand bucks to the bottom line over the V6 engine, which means that you're looking at a starting price of around 41,000 bucks. And I think it's worth almost every penny, unless you're a person that just wants a ton more torque, in which case you're going to want to check out the diesel version that's coming soon, bringing around 400 pound feet to the party. And if you don't think that this mild hybrid is green enough, well, there's a plug-in hybrid version coming in 2020. You're going to want to hang out and check that out when it gets here. So there you have it, five things you need to know about the Jeep Wrangler's e-torque system. But we want to know what you think. Do you trust a hybrid in something as rugged as a Wrangler? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to hit the subscribe button for even more Roadshow videos from our crew. After you do that, maybe head on over to theroadshow.com where you can check out the rest of our coverage of the JL Wrangler and watch our own Emmy Hall putting it through its paces on some of the toughest trails in America.